Okay, so what's up guys? First of all, we're very close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you guys have not yet subscribed, then make sure to subscribe to my channel for more such exciting content. So in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to stabilize hyperlapses, which is one of the most asked questions which I get. Okay, so first thing which you need to do is you need to follow three different steps for stabilizing your hyperlapse after shooting. So once your hyperlapse is made, once the video file is made, you're going to do two things. The first one is stabilize it. The second one is speed it up. So stabilization and speed both cannot work same time. So we have to do one first and then the other. So we have to open this particular hyperlapse in Premiere Pro. And yes, of course, I'm going to make a Final Cut Pro video on this particular topic as well. So stay tuned for that too. So after you open this particular video file in Premiere Pro, right click and click on open with After Effects composition. So once this file is opened in After Effects, you can do two things. First, warp stabilize it, which may work, may not work. And the second one is tracking method. So go to the first frame of this particular clip, click on this particular tracker panel, click on stabilize motion, and then you're going to see one particular track point. Now make sure position and rotation both are selected because it might be that your position is fixed but it may rotate around that particular position. So you don't want that, right? So click on position as well as rotation. After that you want to see two points. So make sure to place those two tracker points on two contrasting positions of your hyperlapses which are available throughout the entire frame as well as those can be a fixed object in your hyperlapses, like those two positions will be fixed in your hyperlapse. So in this particular video, I'm gonna just take two contrasting positions such as this one, and then I'm gonna click on start tracking. After the tracking is done, make sure to click on apply, and position X and Y should be selected. With that being said, this is pretty much done. And then you're going to see this is already stabilized. Maybe some jitters are there in the edges and all, which we are going to fix later with some motion blurs. So the next step is speed it up. So you want to speed this thing up, but you cannot speed a stabilized clip, right? So right click, click on pre-compose and click on OK. After that, right click on this pre-composition, click on time remapping, and then increase the speed of this particular clip by dragging the keyframes. That's pretty much easy, right? So as you can see, once this particular clip is sped up, it is already a lot better. The reason being that when you're increasing the speed of a hyperlapse, all the small small jitters small small you know abnormalities in this particular video are actually ignored because it is a very fast clip so for pro tip for an advice make sure to keep the clip around one second or two second max to max three second in professional videos like sam colder ben Ticker also you want to see the hyperlapses are not very long that is one of the things those guys follow they keep the hyperlapses very short to avoid all the unnecessary jitters around this particular video after that, after the speeding up is done, this is the final one which is going to take this to the next level. Go to the effects and presets tab, search CC motion blur. Drag this particular motion blur onto the composition and if you want to keep it at default, you can do so. With the default settings only, it is looking very good. And as you can see, all the edges are blurred out. So all the jitters around the edges are totally minimized, thus making this look like a very smooth hyperlapse, along with speeding it up. So it is going to be very fast, very catchy, very engaging, very dynamic. And if you're going to put this in your travel video, it is definitely going to stand out a lot because stabilized hyperlapses are not something everyone can do. And it is certainly something you can do if you follow this particular trick. With that being said, I hope you guys like this particular video guys because we are very close to 100,000 subscribers. Please make sure to subscribe and comment down below and like this particular video. With that being said, I'm Pixel Sammy and we'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.